Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fly the latest Pixel OS Android 16 ROM onto Poco F5. So please take a backup of all that on your phone. And let's get started. So first off, get the Android SDK from my article, extract them onto your PC. And you will get the following files as you could see over here. When that is done, now enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command. And OEM unlocking is required to unlock the phone. So let's enable both the toggles. For that, go to settings, about phone. Type on OS version 7 times, then go back, go to system, dev options, and enable OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. Then check mark, I'm aware of all the risk, and wait for 10 seconds, after which tap on OK, and then you might get one more prompt. So again, tap on allow or OK, and with this, the debugging is now enabled. Let me first do a verification for that. So type in CMD, and in the platform to photo address bar, type here CMD, hit the enter key. Then type in the command of ADB devices and verify that you are having an ID. So you could see we are having this ID if that's all well and good. Then now you have to unlock your phone if you are on, on Calinity Hyper OS 2. So I made an article and a video for Hyper OS 1 and 2 both on how you could unlock the phone. So please have a look at my article and get the job done from this link. Unlock your phone for both Hyper OS. The method first is for Hyper OS 1, the method third is for Hyper OS 2. So please do both these methods and once that is done, Re-enable USB debugging once again. Then you will now get the file, the ROM zip file from here. Let me just verify it once. So this is the file is over here. Okay, well and good. Moving on. Now boot the phone to fastboot mode. So let's do that. Type in the command of ADB reboot boot loader and hit enter. The phone should now be in the fastboot mode in just a few seconds. So let's wait for that to happen. After which Type in the command of fastboot devices and verify you are having an ID. So you could see we are having this ID. If you're not having any ID, then please install the fastboot drivers onto your PC. The fastboot drivers links are given in my article. Have a look at that and the video as well and install the drivers. Once that is done, okay, the link should be here only. This is the link. Once you install the drivers, right click on Windows icon and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and verify your phone is shown here. As you could see in our case, this is shown here if that's all well and good. Then now let's flash the ROM file. For that, first off, let's flash the TWRP recovery onto your phone. For the TWRP recovery, the steps are quite simple. So we are done with the first step. Second step is done as well. Third step is done as well. The fourth step is here. So get the recovery file from this link. Once you've got the recovery file, it will be something like this. I should be having the file onto my PC. Let me just see it once. This is the file. So copy the file from here, paste the file inside Platform Tools. Then do a rename and let's rename it to TWRP. The name becomes TWRP.IMG. Let's now flash the file onto our phone. So the command is as follows. Fastboot, flash, partition name, which is the recovery partition. And then the file name, which is TWRP.IMG. Let's flash the file across both the slots A and slot B. So underscore AB, hit enter. The flashing will now start, take only four to five seconds. And you could see both the slots A and slot B now flash. Now type in the command of fastboot, reboot recovery, and this will reboot the phone to the newly flash TWRP recovery. The booting will take only a few more seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. And the phone should now be in the TWRP recovery in a matter of a few seconds. After which we could now flash the ROM file. But before that, let's first do a phone formatting. So for that, you have to go to the wipe section of TWRP, then go to format data, type in yes, hit the orange check mark, blue check mark, and that is complete. Now go back, again go back, once again go back, go to reboot and choose recovery. And with this, the phone should now be inside the TWRP recovery in a few more seconds. And now I guess our phone should be shown in the PC. If that is the case or not, let me just see it once. So it's shown here and we could access the storage as well. It's easily accessible. So just copy the file from here, paste the file onto your phone. If your phone is not shown here, in that case, paste the okay, just give me a second. So I'm saying that if your phone is not shown here, in that case, paste the file inside platform tools, which is over here. Then type in the command as follows. ADB, okay, new tab will much better. ADB push, file name, which is rom.zip, space forward slash SD card. You must also use this command, do a file transfer. So either use a normal file copy paste, or if that's not working, use the ADB push command or use an USB pen drive, or if you have an any OTG device, you may use that as well. But please 
Don't use ADB side load because that should be used only with the SP recovery, like Linux OS recovery, and not with WRP recovery. So use the ADB push command, the USB drive if you have, OTG drive, or a simple file copy paste. So with that said, let's wait for the file to be transferred onto our phone. So guys, the file is just transferred. So let's now flash it. Swipe to unlock, go to install, choose the zip file, swipe to flash. The flashing will now start. Take up to around four to five minutes. So let's wait for that to complete. So guys, the flashing will now complete. Your last action. So do a phone formatting once again. So go to Y, format data, type in yes, hit the blue check mark. And when that is done, go back, again go back, once again go back, and now you will tap on reboot system. The phone will now boot to the OS, but the first booting up will take up some time, around 30 to 40 seconds, which is all normal. Nothing to worry about as such. But that said, let's keep a tab on the boot logo or the boot animation. That will signify that we have done the flashing successfully, and that was quite fast. You could see we have got the boot animation from the Google style. And the phone should now be inside the OS in a matter of few seconds. And with this, we are now inside the OS. So let's get started. For now, I'm skipping the initial setup. If you want, you may connect to Wi-Fi, link your Google account, and restore all the app data as well. But that is going to take ages. So let's skip this for now. Simply access the terms and condition. And that is just about it. We are inside the OS. The wallpaper are from Pixel 9 series, I suppose. The new QS price, okay, still based on the QPR 0. So we don't have the new UI as well yet. But Google has just wrote out the QPR 1 source code. And I guess Evolution X Storm is the first one which has just got the new UI. I have made an article on that about the new UI on Android 16 QPR 1. You may have a look at that. But this form still based on the Android 16 QPR 0. In the next build, they will have the new UI. For now, let's use the old one only. Not a major issue. In the display section, what all is there? Dark theme, pure black, it's there. Then icon manager, you may show or hide the icons from status bar. Light display, color contrast, display share 120 hertz, it's fine. Then double tap to sleep, working, double tap to wake, is also working. Then in the system, what all is there? Gestures, double tap, camera button, navigation mode. Check to left phone, quick torch, playback, screenshot, swipe. This is required. It's working along the expected lines, no issue whatsoever. Then, uh, what we the side section? You may change the clock style from here, or from you may then change the color and size from this section as well if required accordingly. Then, you may change the wallpapers from here, go there, and for the Pixel 9 series, all these are over here. Or this is the one from the older Pixel phone as well. Live wallpapers, these are the ones. Then you may go to the home screen and now from here enable theme icons. They are now enabled. Change the size, let's say to 5 plus 5. It's now done. And that is just about it. Apart from that, in the wallpaper and style section, what all is there? Okay, we have seen this in the home settings. Let's see now. So nothing fancy as such, that's it. It's a clean stock UI experience, but it's currently based on Android 16 QPR 0. So you will not have the Material 3 design as of now. In the next sense, Google has now rolled out the source code for it. In the next build, we will see the six QPR 1's UI. But for now, it's the 0 only, not the 1. And that is just about it. If you have any query, let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching. Let me show you this Android 16 build of the ROM. And that is it.